Hey, this is a help video to teach you how to add videos to Logger Pro and to analyze them for our projectile motion unit. First you will need to open up Logger Pro and the first thing you should do is save your file so that it will begin the automatic backup process. Put your last name as the first word in your file. And then call it Angry Birds and either put your class period or something to that effect. Find the right spot to save it. I'll save it on my desktop and save your file. Next, you need to insert a video. In order to insert the video, you first need to have the video. So go to tigerphysics.org, go to the Angry Birds video page, type in the password when it asks for one. I've already done that. And on the bottom, there are a variety of different videos. If you're viewing Safari, when you go to download the file, you need to hold down the function or the control key, hold down the control key, and say download link file as. Save that file in a spot that makes sense, such as the desktop. If you're using Chrome, It's a slightly different process, and the help document that I have prepared tells you how to do that. When you go to Chrome, you will click on the download link file, and it should start to download for you. And it will save it in the download folder. Once you've downloaded your video, go back to Logger Pro and go up to the Insert menu. Choose Movie. Find where you downloaded it to. Then click Open. If you've done this correctly, the movie should appear on your Logger Pro screen. I suggest moving it to the top and over to the right a bit and then expanding the size of the video to as large as you can. In the bottom right corner there's a thing called Enable Disenable Video Analysis. When you click on that a menu on the right will pop out with some different things you can do. Select points, add points to the video, set an origin, set a scale, tell some things about how far away the photo was taken, that will not be used for us, set active points, whether to show the trailing dots in the video or not, show where the origin is, and show the scale. So the first thing we want to do is set the origin, which is the third button down when you click it, pick a spot that makes sense. You can pick, pick a spot where it's right at the bottom of the slingshot. You can pick a spot where the bird just leaves the slingshot once it's moving. It doesn't matter where you pick, just pick some spot in the video that makes sense. I'm going to choose the bottom of the slingshot. If you've done this correctly, you will see a yellow line going up and down and left and right appear like an XY axis line. Now in the help thing it does say to set the origin when the bird is first coming out of the slingshot. So I'm going to advance the video a couple of frames until my bird is just out of the slingshot and I'm going to pick that as my new origin. Next we want to set a scale. In this video we're going to say that the from the top to the bottom of the slingshot is 5 meters. 
So again, I went over to the side where the set scale is. I clicked on that. Then I drag, clicked on my video two points, clicked and dragged from the top of the slingshot to the bottom, then typed in five meters to say that the slingshot is five meters. Now I'm going to add points to my video. Click on the add a point button. Now you're going to try and click in the same spot of the bird every time. Once you click once on the bird, it will move the video forward one frame and you should see a blue dot show up on your screen. So then I'm going to click the bird again and I'm just going to keep trying to click the bird in the same spot. And if there's a case where you click in the wrong spot, so here I've clicked over way to the left, I can go back to this select point function. I can click that point. You should see a circle appear around it. And I can hit the delete key on my keyboard, and that point will disappear. If, on the other hand, I go to select that point and I miss selecting it so the circle does not appear on it and I hit the delete key the whole video will disappear and we don't want that to happen so you can go up to edit and undo it go back and try to select that point and delete that point then go back to the add a point button and click on the bird the same spot every time. So try to get the middle of the bird or the bottom of the bird or the top of the bird. Whichever point you pick is fine. Just try to click that same spot every time. So I would do that, keep doing that until my bird has come back down. So I'm going to try and get all the different points I can. But you would have, should be look like a path of blue dots following the white dots that are shown from the, from the game. Once you've completed it, clicking on all those different spots, so I've skipped a bunch of those dots, make sure that you click Select Points. This will stop you from adding points on your video in spots you don't want it. If you click on the graph then, you can see what your graph looks like. The blue represents what's happening in the y direction. The red represents what's happening in the x direction. So right now you have a single page for your position versus time in both x and y direction. You then need to go and add a page copy the current page, say OK, go to Page Options, title this Velocity versus Time, and change what's happening on the y-axis by going to More when you click on the y-axis uncheck X and Y and check X and Y velocity. Then you're going to do that again adding a page copy current page and going to page options and titling it acceleration. And we'll talk about later how to make it show up acceleration on this graph. That's something you'll have to add to what you're doing, which we'll get to in a later video. Make sure you file and save your work as you are going so you don't lose all of your progress. But that is mostly what you need to do for the Logger Pro video analysis. 
If you have questions, contact myself at Tiger Physics on Twitter or talk to me in class.